Last week we explored two national parks in Utah, and this week we'll be exploring one more on our hunt for seven of the most iconic arches in Moab. Well, welcome back to the windiest place on earth. And if you're wondering where that is, it's wherever Jimmy and Natalie are. We are currently right outside of Arches National Park and it's probably the windiest day we've seen in the past couple weeks. But we still need to persevere and go into the park today because this park has also implemented a permit system. Luckily, there's no lottery. Like if you just sign up and pay the $2 fee, you can get a permit. So it is what it is. We're gonna make the most of it. I just stepped outside for a couple seconds and it's immediately apparent that my hair is going to be super annoying so I think I'm going to braid it. It's just too windy to leave it down today. Does that look like a good split, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, looks good. Alright, <laughs> I can hear apprehension in your voice but uh, <laughs> it sounds good enough. Hopefully that's more windproof. Is that okay, Jimmy? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah? Love pretty it. Good. You hate it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's probably enough goofing around. Our permit opens up uh, three minutes ago. Oh my god! And we have exactly an hour from that time to enter the national park. Otherwise, we'd have to reapply for another day. Do you think they'd understand if we told them like we were braiding hair? <laughs> yeah, they probably get that a lot. Oh, we don't normally have to do this. We have latches that hold the things in place, but for big bumps, we like to be extra careful. So I hold it too. Wow, it's a pretty big line. Yeah, it's a really big line for a park that uses permits. Yes, yeah. I guess this is the justification for permits. Yeah. <laughs> We still have over 30 minutes to redeem our permit, but this line makes me nervous. There's got to be at least like a hundred cars in front of us to get into this park. This is wild. I'm also really worried about how the bus is going to handle the road in there. We've gotten our overheating issues fixed and we're definitely good on that, but it's still a bus and the roads here look really steep and hilly. So that might be a little stressful. Hey, how are you? Is this just your personal vehicle? It is, yeah. Alright, cool. So are we stopping at the visitor center or are we just gonna go straight up the hill? I don't know. Okay, so we made it in the park with literally two minutes to spare. How it works at Arches National Park is that you need to get a permit and they only give you a one hour window to enter the park. But once you do, you can stay for as long as you want. Um, but that's the caveat is you need to make it within the hour. We showed up like 35 minutes early and that's just how long it took us to get through that line. So I don't know what they would have done if we would have gotten here after our slot had ended. Either way, we made it. Um, we're gonna try to scope out the map and try to pick out our route. And then we'll probably be headed into the main park pretty shortly. <laughs> this is like the smallest map we've uh, had so far. I know, they're <laughs> usually like twice the size. Okay, so we're here. That's the awful switchbacks so that you go up like <laughs> probably six to eight hundred feet I think. Great. I don't know where to go first. There's so many good places. I know. So there's double arch there. I've heard of that one. I really want to see delicate arch wherever that is. Yeah where's that one? No idea. <laughs> um, oh delicate arch it's over here. Oh cool. All right so, well I mean that's like pretty far so maybe we should stop at like the double arch first and kind of explore that. Yeah that sounds cool. Okay well I think we got a plan so we're gonna uh maybe have a quick snack because we waited so long and, and then actually head in. <laughs> It's super windy outside and it looks very stormy, but it was not supposed to rain today, so hopefully it doesn't. Um, this is like our only day to explore the park, unless we want to wait around for two weeks, which would really mess up our schedule. So I guess we just got to brave it. I'm sorry if the audio quality is really bad in the wind. <laughs> we'll do our best. It's 
So this is double arch. It's just two arches that kind of form together. I think this is a really great one to start with. And apparently there are over 2,000 confirmed arches in the park. And these are two of them. So we just have 1,998 more to go. <laughs> <laughs> we made it up here but you can get really close to the arches underneath them and you're basically looking straight up at them we probably have a better view of it because of the clouds because if it was super sunny we probably wouldn't really be able to see much of it you know i'm trying to look on the bright side but it's really windy <laughs> Two down, 1,998 to go. Oh gosh. Are you cold? I'm just being a little whiny baby. My ears are cold. <laughs> I'm grateful to be here. It's really fun, but it is, it's just a little cold and I'm just trying to warm up my ears. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Does that feel better? That helps a lot, actually. <laughs> I got an idea. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Oh, look at him go. He's getting all the bugs. <laughs> well, I was trying to get all the bugs so we could see out of the window again. That's nice. That's a good idea. I don't know if I got them all, but there's <laughs> a lot of bugs. I don't know if we'll ever get all the bugs on that windshield. So that was a nice break, but I think it's cleared up enough for us to go back out. Look how much more sunny it is. And no bugs. And the crowds have like dissipated, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this parking lot was completely full when we first got here. That is one really nice thing about living in an RV and taking it to all these places is that if we need to take like an hour and a half break to wait out a storm, we can just do it in our house. <laughs> it's really comfortable. <laughs> So that's the parking lot we stayed at, and then there are the double arches, and right across the median are the window arches. You're giving away how little hiking we're actually having to do this week. I'm definitely embracing that. I am done with hiking for a little bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to take a break. We're standing under the north window arch and we can see a huge crack along underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it doesn't fall. So right now we're standing in the middle of the vista to see all three main arches. Behind me is the north window arch. Over here is the south window arch. And then behind me in this direction is the, what is it called? The, the turret, turret arch. arch. Oh, wait. This is the one that I always see photoshopped with an eye or like with the moon inside the arch so it looks like it's an eye. Oh. That's gotta be this one, right? I can kind of see that. Well, we can officially see both arches, but we're still searching for the best viewpoint. It kind of looks like a mask, like a, for a masquerade or something. I don't know why they called in the windows and not the eyes. Maybe they're worried that one of them will collapse and then it won't make as much sense. The main thing I really wanted to see at Arches National Park is the delicate arch. 
which I think is probably the most famous of all the arches here. It's supposed to be like the standalone, really cool looking formation. So I'm excited to see it for myself. That's cool. I gotta wave goodbye to the arches. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what is that, Natalie? That's an in progress arch. I love having nature Natalie along for the ride. <laughs> I am just making this up as we go. <laughs> I think it would be pretty fun to listen to music on this hike because we didn't realize this. Well, maybe Jimmy knew, but I wasn't paying attention earlier. And this is going to be a three mile hike to the Delicate Arch. So I kind of want to listen to music, but we don't have any cell service. We never usually listen to music on hikes, so I might just tough it out. Regardless of what we do, we're going to have to really speed up on this hike because I don't know where the time went, but it is almost 5 p.m. I was going to put on my jacket because I'm a little bit cold, but that's making me walk faster, so I might just try to use that as to my advantage. So that's not it, right? I will be very mad if that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Upon closer inspection, it's not an arch, it's just a cave. We've seen plenty of those. We're here <laughs> for the arches. Wow, this looks so cool. It's like something from The Lion King. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we raced up here, and uh, Natalie, do you know how long it took us? Ooh, no. So. It was a mile and a half. It was a mile and a half, and we were we were racing for at least the first half until we got tired. It was straight uphill. It we, was. we only stopped to film. Yeah. We didn't take any breaks, but I feel like it was really steep. So yeah. 30 minutes? Yeah, it was 30 minutes. Re really? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. For an incline, yeah. Yeah, I'm more excited about going back downhill. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Might just roll down. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the arch. I think we're gonna try to get closer and see if we can get some better shots of it. It looks really pretty. It's yeah. the best arch we've seen all day. After standing still for even a couple minutes, I'm very cold. We were kind of booking it up the mountain, so I didn't really need my jacket, but I definitely do now. I'm glad that we did try to get here really quickly because we've got like a mile and a half to hike back. And I don't think we're gonna be as fast this time. All right, I think we're gonna call it a night, but uh, this will be our last and only time in Arches because of their new permit system. But tomorrow we actually, do have two more arches to go see that are outside the park, which I'm really excited about because that means we can fly our drone. <laughs> so we'll pick you back up tomorrow. Good morning. We are currently parked at the trailhead parking lot for Corona Arch and Bowtie Arch. I think we should be able to see both of them on the same trail. We've heard really good things about both of these arches. They're pretty notorious. And the cool thing about them is that they're outside of Arches National Park which means you don't have to worry about the reservation and timed entry system. We can fly our drone and people can bring their dogs, which doesn't really affect us, but I know a lot of people don't like national parks because you can't bring dogs on a lot of the trails. So this can be a really great alternative. Yeah, I'm not sure why these two arches are actually outside of the national park. For those that are curious, we're like maybe 10 miles from the park entrance. So I feel like it would have been really easy to include these two, but I guess they've already claimed like 2,000 arches. What's two more? Mm -hmm. 
I saw a sign that there are desert bighorn sheep here and that they have lambs this time of year, so you gotta be careful with your dogs and keep them on the leash. Are those it? Oh, that's gotta be it. Yeah. It's like our first glimpse of it. I thought this trail was gonna be a lot longer. That's just how fit we've become, Natalie. <laughs> we can walk a mile and a half, no problem now. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like weirdly excited for the next part. This is our first ladder on a hike. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, well I've seen pictures of them before, but I always thought it was like for bigger and maybe better hikes. This is just like a really good hike. It's also like a five prong ladder, so it's not very big. You ready? Can I go first? Yeah, go for it. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, I can already touch the top of it. <laughs> We're doing it. Wow. It's like a playground. That's so cute. You think you could get all the way up there? I think so. So this is definitely bow tie arch. We weren't quite sure until we got closer, but I think it's kind of a sideways bow tie. So the cave is one part of the bow tie and then the, the hole at the top is the other. And one interesting thing I recently learned about this kind of arch is that when it forms, it starts as a pothole. So it just starts like a really small hole in the top and then it just grows. Echo. <laughs> hey, subscribe. <laughs> It's a very sharp echo, like it'll echo once and then just stop completely. I feel like it would be really cool to hear what it would sound like to sing in here, but I don't want to annoy everybody because a lot of people could hear me right now. Well, we made it to Corona Arch, which is the last arch that we have planned for this week. And I wasn't expecting this to be the case, but I think that this is the largest and the best arch we've seen so far. I mean, okay, best experience, because Delicate Arch was obviously really like rare looking, but this one's almost as cool looking, but there's far fewer people and there's a lot of cute dogs on the trail. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun. The hike was probably more fun. So do you want to walk over there and see what it looks like on the other side? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Even though there's clouds in the sky, the sky just looks so blue behind it. This is like the perfect weather for arch seeing. Yeah, I love seeing the fluffy white clouds through the arch. Yeah. Our plan after this was to go to Canyonlands National Park because there are five national parks in Utah. This is our fourth, so Canyonlands will be the fifth and final. And uh, we're getting a little arched out, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are really cool, but like, you know, once you see five of them, you know, you've seen them all. Seven in this video. That's true. I'm just excited about what we're going to see next. Look at that. Yeah. Such a straight line. Is that, it? That was my contribution. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I see the best view right there. <laughs> Dang, that's a big lizard. Man, that's not a lizard. That's an iguana. <laughs> oh my. 
Man, his tail is massive. Who let that thing off leash? <laughs>